So let's take a look at rolling with additional batch. So the idea here is that uh, when you start a deploy, you're going to spin up um, new servers. So if you're doing it in batches of two or whatever size, uh, instead of uh, taking a batch out of service, we're just going to add new servers and then we're going to apply our app version there. And once those are good, we're going to then terminate our old um, uh, instances or, uh, or a, another batch. And the idea here is that by doing this, uh, we're never going to reduce our capacity. And this is important for applications where a reduction in capacity could cause availability issues for users. Because we saw with rolling, we will have a reduced capacity for a short period of time. In this case, we'll never have a reduced capacity. Um, but you know, we still have the same issues where uh, if you are uh, if you want to do a rollback, you're going to have to perform an additional rolling update. So rollbacks is still uh, quite painful in this case and slow.